All right, folks, so today we are going to do a power test on the Waxun or Oshang, depending upon where you're from, uh, UV8E, KG UV8E. It's a tri-band handheld ham radio. And uh, for this test, we're going to hook it up to a power and SWR meter, and then we're going to try its power outputs on each one of the bands. So uh, before we get started, let me see if I can find mine right here. Why don't you grab yourself a nice cold one, come on back, and we'll get started. All right, folks, so we're all set up to do the testing here on the Woshang UV-8E. And we're going to fill out this chart, and we're going to test it across to all three bands on both the high and the low settings. So let's go ahead and get started. Here's a spec sheet for the radio, and you can see down in the lower right-hand corner the output power of 5 and 1 watts for VHF and 4 and 1 watts for UHF. Okay, for this test, we have the radio that is connected to two adapters in order to get it to the Nisei RS40 power and SWR meter. We want to make sure that our meter is set to power, and then we have a MFJ and W load at the end. We're going to go ahead and power up, and you can see the radio is on 8 volts. That means the battery is fully charged. Let's see if I can get my zoom angle correct and adjusted. And then uh, we are going to start off. And somehow I entered the frequency wrong. Let's go ahead and let's power up on low. And then here you can see we are just over one watt at about 1.25. Let's go into the menu and set the power to high. All right, I think I got it right. Let's exit out and let's key up. And here we are seeing just a touch over five. We're going to call it just barely over five. Okay, here we are on the 220 band, and we are on low power. We're going to go ahead and we're going to key up. And oh my gosh, five watts. What's that all about? Let's go ahead and try that again because I don't believe my eyes, and it says five watts, and I'm a little bit perplexed as to what's going on here. Let's just verify that it's on low. And it's five watts again. Let's go ahead and try it on high and see what happens. Function select. Power select. Enter. And we key up. And it's almost 10 watts. Now what the heck is going on here? It's at this point that I realize that the meter only supports the 2 meter and 70 centimeter bands and that's why we were getting the goofy reading so we are going to have to ignore the power test for the 220 band. Sorry about the confusion folks. Alright let's move ahead to the 70 centimeter band. We type in our frequency and this time we're starting on high power and we're just over 5 watts so we're going to call that 5 plus maybe five and a half give or take. Let me write that down and now we are going to go to the low low power setting. And now we're going to key up. And it looks like it's a little over two. Right at the two mark. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to call that uh, just under two. Let me zoom out. That's really going to wrap up the power test, folks. The radio seems to perform uh, as I expected it would. Um, I didn't expect anything crazy other than to mix up with the meter. And with that, I want to say thanks to everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and post them below, and I'll do my best to, uh, to answer them. Thanks, everyone.